tiny Rhinosaurus and the Nevasaurus by Nick Ward. Tiny Rhinosaurus, Rex, loves his bedtime stories. And because he's the fiercest little dinosaur ever, he especially likes scary stories. The scarier the better. Tell me a story, Mum, Tiny said when he was tucked up in bed. A scary story? Do you want the one about the scary snort wurgler? asked Mum. That's not scary enough, said Tiny. Then I'll tell you about the ferocious, fire-breathing Nevasaurus, Mum said. Tiny gulped. He liked that one. When the moon is high and the night is dark, the ferocious, fire-breathing Nevasaurus pads quietly through the streets, said Mum. Gnashing his big yellow teeth, the Nevasaurus peers through the windows and growls through the locks, making sure all little dinosaurs are safely tucked up in bed. Even though no one has ever seen the Nevasaurus, you must be very careful. Because if the Nevasaurus ever sees a little dinosaur like you out after dark, he... But there Mum stopped because Tiny Rhinosaurus was already fast asleep. Early the next morning, Tiny made some sandwiches, got out his biggest fishing net and marched into the garden. Where are you going? asked Mum. I'm going to catch that ferocious fire-breathing Nevasaurus, said Tiny. Well, make sure you are back in time for tea, smiled Mum. Tiny Rhinosaurus wasn't scared of anything, and he roared his loudest roar as he tiptoed through the jewel-bright jungle, fishing net at the ready. This is just the sort of place to find a Nevasaurus, he thought. And then he heard a noise coming from the undergrowth, a rumbling, wheezing noise. Tiny swung his net. Got you, you horrible Nevasaurus, he growled. But... Oh, Tiny, said Baby Kong, I was having my nap. Sorry, I caught you napping, said Tiny, but I'm hunting the ferocious fire-breathing Nevasaurus. I'll help, said Baby Kong, and they roared their loudest roars and pulled their fiercest faces and went on their way. This is just the sort of place to find a Nevasaurus, whispered Tiny, as they tiptoed up to the edge of the bubbling, sulfurous swamp. There he is, said Baby Kong, pointing to a large horn sticking out of the mud. Tiny swung his net. Got you, you horrible Nevasaurus, they bellowed. Flop. Oh, Tiny, said Dinoceros, I was having a wallow. Sorry to stop your wallowing, said Tiny, but we're after the ferocious fire-breathing Nevasaurus. I'll help, said Dinoceros and they roared their loudest roars and crushed their mighty jaws and went off to find the ferocious, fire-breathing Nevasaurus. Roar! We are bound to find the Nevasaurus here, said Tiny, after they had waded through the tall, prickly prairie grass and climbed to the top of a boulder. They looked all around. There he is, cried Dinoceros. Tiny swung his net. Oh no, this is ridiculous yelled Tiny, getting very grumpy indeed. All they had caught was a rather dozy brontosaurus, munching lazily on the grass. We'll never find the Nevasaurus at this rate. Let's climb the big volcano, suggested Baby Kong. We'll be able to see for miles and miles from there. So the three friends marched off to the big volcano. The sun started to set as they looked out over the valley. They couldn't see a Nevasaurus anywhere. Perhaps we should go home, shivered Baby Kong. If the Nevasaurus finds us out after dark, he'll... I'm not scared of him, said Tiny Rhinosaurus. We've looked everywhere. I don't believe there is such a thing as a silly Nevasaurus, he shouted. But if only they could see what you can see. The ferocious Nevasaurus roared his mightiest roar, blowing plumes of smoke and coils of fire into the air. Quick, cried the friends, the volcano is erupting! And as the ground shook and the sky filled with flares and flashes and whiz-bangs, they scampered all the way down the hill. Good, 
smiled the Nevisaurus. They should get home in time. For tea. Did you find your ferocious fire-breathing Nevisaurus? asked Mom when Tiny raced into the kitchen. No, complained Tiny. We never saw the Nevisaurus, and the Nevisaurus never saw us. But we know better, don't we?